Hey, welcome back. It's good to see you again. This is Brian. I'm Kelly. For Short Circuit of Brewers. And tonight we're actually going to do something a little bit different that I was thinking about it when we got this all together. We have done it before. I've uh, never had homebrew beer mail from someone to review. Mm -hmm. So Leo, uh, great... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call Leo a friend now. I've got to know him from chit-chatting back and forth and he's a great supporter of the channel. We really appreciate him. He uh, sent me an email or sent me a message on Facebook and said, "Hey, uh, I'm sending you some of my beers that I brewed. Do you want to try some?" I'm like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, what we've got tonight is we've got an apricot blonde, and we have also got a stout. But let me tell you what the details are on the apricot <laughs> blonde. So the apricot <laughs> blonde, uh, he brewed it so that it would be like kind of a drier taste in the summertime. Uh, about four, four and a half percent. He said he put the apricots in after three days of fermentation and uh, he pasteurized them first. And uh, he said he also put a small amount of extract, apricot extract in the keg whenever he was kegging them to kind of bump up that apricot flavor aroma a little bit. Wow. And he said that he slightly over, over carbonated it just a little bit to uh, make it an easy drinker. Now, being that it was uh, in, you know, bottled from a keg and then took a ride from Finland over here, it might have actually dropped in carbonation just a little bit, but not too bad. So let's uh, let's get into that one. Let's try that one first before we get a hold of the stout. And thank you, Leo. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. I know you went through a little bit of effort to get them here, so uh, go ahead and yeah. pop yours. We're going to do a dual pour. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what am I going to pop it with? I don't do that. Idiot. <laughs> All right. All right, let's get a pour on this. Let's see what we got here. Ooh looks nice. It is definitely carbonated. That is very pretty. That looks really good. Really, really good. Got a little bit of haziness to it, not bad. I didn't want to overflow, so I tilted it. Right, there we go. Very good. That's very pretty. All right. Let's uh let's get the nose on. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely picking oh, up man. Picking up that apricot right away. Um I do smell I think I smell a little bit of the malts too. It smells like um, dried apricot pieces to yeah, me. Yeah, it does for sure. Yeah, I'm definitely getting getting a lot of that apricot. Oh my gosh. Let's, uh, let's get the taste on. Oh my gosh. So what are you visiting? Mm. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's good. This is delicious. <laughs> no, yeah, I just said it's good because he kept saying everybody told him everybody that had it was said it's good. No, it actually it's 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 very light. It's very refreshing. It has a little bit of a, a malt backbone to it, mm -hmm. but the apricot is just right there. It's amazing. Um, it's, it's right there light. on the nose, and then it's just right there at the finish too. I mean, it's just a really nice uh, finish to it. It looks like champagne bubbles. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's it's got some really nice uh, light bubbles to it. Um, he did not tell me what the grain bill was, but I'm assuming it was uh, just some base malt and maybe maybe a little bit of some kind of adjunct or something like that, but not a lot. It's uh, it's definitely, it has, a, it has a nice dryness to it. I'm not picking up a lot of uh, hop flavor or aroma, which all. is fine. Mm -hmm. For me Cause, too. Yeah, because it, it, I mean, it tastes really, really good. I appreciate that with a fruity beer. Mm. That's delicious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you brewed this for the summertime, you hit it on the head, that's for sure. Mm. Definitely hit it on the head with that. That is pretty amazing for sure. Thank you. That was so yeah, nice. Yeah, that's uh that's awesome. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm picking up still picking up that apricot in there. Mm. Yeah, it's just uh really good, really good. Well, that was definitely a winner. Let's mm -hmm. uh let's try your favorite style. Let's uh let's get into the stout and see what we think of that. All right, so this is this is pretty amazing, this uh stout. So this is an imperial stout, and he says it came in around nine percent. Mm, excuse me, definitely got the carbonation on that, Leo. <laughs> I gotta have another drink of that. It's delish. So it came around nine percent, um, and it's it was aged a month on oak chips that were soaking in whiskey for a whole year. So he soaked whiskey chip or uh, wood chips in whiskey for a year. You have way more patience than I do. <laughs> right. <laughs> then he soaked, then he uh, uh, put those wood chips into beer for uh, a month. Then 
Vanilla beans were added three weeks for three weeks, and those were soaked in dark rum for two weeks. So it's had whiskey wood chips and vanilla rum. Is this his own recipe? Is yeah, he came up with this himself, I'm sure. So that is I bet really people will be inventive. asking for the recipe after this is over, Leo. Um, and then he says a shot of whiskey and a shot of rum were added to the five gallon batch, and it was aged for two years in the keg, and then he just bottled it. So this this beer is is over two years old. Oh my um, god. He did tell me it might lack a little bit in uh, carbonation, but with the stout, I mean, it's really not that big of a deal because yeah. stouts are generally not that carbonated anyways, but we're going to give it a shot and see what we think. So let's crack into them. <clears throat> and I am sure I'm looking for this to be a nice, dark, inky black. It's beautiful already. I can, uh, yeah, smell that everything. Ooh Nice and thick. It's like liquid goodness. Not a lot of carbonation, like you said, but that is okay in my opinion because stouts don't have yeah. a lot of carbon. Yeah, there's, still, there's a little bit yeah, of there's, still there's a little bit of carbonation coming up in there. It's swirly. But I'm telling you what, man, that thing has got some legs. It just it just <laughs> laces that glass. Mm. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Leo, yeah. you spoiled us. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up. I'm picking up some of that rum, some of that some of that whiskey. Um, yeah. What's the, the percentage the on this? Nine percent. Okay. Somewhere around nine percent. <clears throat> now the good night. The vanilla, yeah. <laughs> the vanilla is not quite as apparent as I thought it might I smell be. Vanilla Do you right smell well. it? Oh, yeah. Just a, a little bit, but uh, yeah. I mean, I'm. Oh, I smell swirl vanilla. Too yeah, I mean, I'm picking up like some really like stone fruit, like some yeah, even like a raisin. Almost type raisin. quality. I, if I think raisin, then I can smell coffee, raisin. Coffee, like mm -hmm. a smoky yeah. coffee kind of. Is there raisin aroma? in it? Because I didn't think raisin. No, but a lot of your dark, that. some of your dark grains will impart that yeah. that aroma and flavor. So well, let's get into it. See what we think. Mm -hmm. That is so good. That is that is so good. Mm. I love it. That is, it's silky smooth. And it almost, you can almost have a raisin taste now, now that you put that in my head, but I Yeah, really, with the... It's just like, it's not sweet though. Right, no, it's not a sweet raisin. It's like a, it's almost like a, there's like a little bit of bitterness to it. Not a ton, but just a oh, little bit. it's smooth. Though. I can kind of taste some of that wood a little bit, kind of a little smoky mm -hmm. oh, toasted oak. Oh, I can definitely oak. taste that. <clears throat> yeah. And, um, man, I'll tell you what, it, uh, that, that is a nice beer for sure. Let me get another sip of that. What were the whiskeys? The rum and... You didn't say what the whiskey was or what the rum was, but, um, you know. It almost makes like a chocolate. It all, yeah, I was going to say it all blends together really nice. It's almost like a chocolatey coffee kind of flavor. But it's sweeter. Um, mm -hmm. I'm almost getting like a little bit of molasses, too. Are you mm -hmm. picking up a little bit something like that, too? Yeah. Kind of as it, as it finishes a little bit. I think bit. the I'm vanilla with it all makes it like that. That's so yeah. neat. That's yeah. good. So. Wow. That is definitely a, uh, that's a keeper right there for sure. Mm -hmm. That is a good stout. That's really neat that you have the patience for that. I've <laughs> <laughs> had a couple of beers we've aged for a I year, can't. maybe. <laughs> he has to hide them from me because we're like, oh please. Right. Oh, I need. I gotta have one of those. Please. Mm. Oh, man, that that please is say, please. that is amazing. That is amazing. It's awesome. I'm gonna double fist it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not really, but I. <laughs> mm. Black <laughs> and really tan, kidding. right? Yeah. Mm. No, it's completely separate, but both are beautiful in their own right. Oh my gosh. Well, I am so very glad that these made the trip from Finland to the U.S. Thank you. That's um, incredible. Uh, it's yeah, they're they're absolutely amazing. Both <laughs> the beers are. Sorry, it took me so long to get a review done on these, but uh, we had some things going on. Yeah, lately. exactly. So I, you know, I, I I can't say thank you enough. I really appreciate. it. I'm enjoying both of these immensely. I'll probably go back and forth between the two. I think they actually pair pretty well together with each other. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, this this stout is absolutely amazing. It's like yum and yummer. Yeah, yum yum and yummer. It's like dumb and dumber. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, yeah, well, pun. This has been Brian and Kelly for Short Circuit of Brewers. Cheers! Until we see you on the next video. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Raise a glass. Cheers, have a beer. The weekend is either near or here, one of the two, depending on it's when on you see way. this. So <laughs> it's always on the way. <laughs>